But you already had an eight or nine yard game. Be careful, make sure your head's in front, and it wasn't. Anderson drops back. He's got all the time he needs, and he delivers at the 22-yard line. It's caught and taken down out there, Jacoby Herring. Parker Hallberg did a wonderful job. The safety, six foot one, 190-pound freshman, able to secure that tackle in the open spaces. Second eight, clock still running, Vance. And they do it again. They go right back to Herring. Again, the, the tempo offense doesn't really hurt him or slow him down here, although they're going to clock it. And they do. Hits the turf. And this is right on that. We were talking a little bit about that line last night. Now your field goal kickers missed two kicks. Do you want to run him out? Eight seconds. Do you have the opportunity to throw a quick out and get him a couple more yards? Or will the offensive guru roll the dice and take a shot in the end zone? Kraft talking to his receivers. He basically shoot him back out on the field. He told Hunter and Herring, you guys go back out there. We know what we're doing. We've got the play called. He looks over at his quarterback, Colin Anderson. Anderson has Octa behind him. Anderson jogs out confidently and stands in the shotgun at the 21-yard line with eight seconds to go in this first half. Anderson looks left the entire time, throws it in the end zone, and it is incomplete. Ball dropped. Great clock operator. Only four seconds went off there. Wow. Vince. Long throw from the right hash all the way across the field from the 15-yard line and only a four-second play clock. And you're exactly right. Coach Judy and the coaching staff wants to talk to the officials and say, are you kidding me? Four seconds left? Wow. Kickers on the field. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. So with eight seconds to go on that play, it was a long throw to the back corner from the opposite side and only four seconds goes off. Be that as it may, here comes the field goal attempt, a 34 yard attempt. Here's the snap, it's up and this one is good. And that's it, the end of the half finishes with a score for Riverside. 17 to nothing right now. Riverside Community College leads the Renegades. When we come back, we will have our halftime chat, and we'll also deliver some nice music and marching band and color guard from the highly decorated Riverside Community College Band. Back in a moment on News Talk 1180 KERN and the new 96.1 FM, and of course, Bakersfield.com. When it's your job to protect the world's greatest nation, it's your responsibility to solve the world's greatest challenges. 